We're Burger King. <laughs> Chris got me a crown. Got her a crown. Got me a crown. So, Burger King is debuting what they are calling their international chicken sandwich trio, I guess you would call it. So, basically, they're adding the um, new Mexican original chicken sandwich. And it is basically their lightly breaded chicken um, with spicy queso queso and crispy jalapenos on a sesame seed bun um, so i'm a huge fan of their original original chicken yeah. sandwich you know this long skinny thing um uh when i get it i get them to add cheese and bacon along with the mayonnaise and lettuce and it's really good so i mean this is basically the same thing just with yeah. queso so and the one you're talking about is the american jalapenos. is that right so, no 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 we've been through this she never listens to me so in the American is different. The American one comes with lettuce, tomato, mayonnaise, and oh, cheese. Okay. But the original just comes not. with lettuce and well, mayonnaise. The, the only reason I ask is because they're calling it American original some chicken crunchy, sandwich. Some crunchy jalapenos. And sandwich. then they have the Italian original chicken sandwich. Oh. oh. I'm taking a bite. Okay, let me. I gotta I gotta catch up. Not catch up, but catch up. It looks good. Lots of them jalapeno things. Jalapeno. And fried crunchy jalapenos are good. Queso got a little kick to it. Mm, yes, it does. A little kick to the queso. Not overpowering. Mm -mm. This is good. Simple. It's simple. Mmm. It's just queso and jalapenos. I mean, can you really go wrong with queso on anything? Ice cream. Wedding cake. <laughs> Valid point. This is really good. Mm -hmm. I'm liking this. Um... So the queso... They didn't give me my receipt. Oh. Five seventy nine, I think. Let me see if it's... She'll look it up and put it on the screen later. Pretty sure it's five seventy nine. Yeah, it doesn't say on the article that I read, but... Um, so the queso is kind of really like good. a... Like a spicy nacho cheese, kind of. That, that tex texture. You know what I mean? The nacho cheese. Yeah. That's, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's like a nacho cheese. I keep losing my napkins. <laughs> this is really it's good. It's really good. All of my little jalapeno crisp thingies keep falling off. You know, my, my normal way to judge something is if I get it again, I would, I, would, yeah. I would absolutely get this again. I would too. This is really good. I don't think the chicken patty, I guess you would call it, is anything extra special. But... I like the crispiness of the, the little jalapeno chips. That's what they're calling them. Five. What do they call them? They're really good. This is this supposedly came out today, which is January 5th. Um, but many of the Burger Kings in our area still didn't have the ingredients to make it, which is basically the jalapeno, fried jalapeno, <laughs> and the queso. But... We did find one near us that, that had the ingredients, so yay us. And when we called and asked them if they had it, the woman said, I don't know. Let me ask. So I'm pretty sure we're the first people to get it at this store. But we do have a beef. So, one, it was on the app for the other locations that didn't have it. Which... We kind of get, but those other restaurants had it, had posters up and had it on their menu board. You had to put it on the menu board. If you knew you didn't have the stuff, why would you put it on the menu board? Yeah. We don't understand. So if you work in fast food and you understand all that, please let us know. Yeah, it wasn't one of them fancy electronic menu boards that maybe is programmed at the home office. This is still the old school menu boards where you have to hand put everything on there. And they had it on there. This is really good. And 
I ordered and paid for it on the app. So now I got to go through the app process to get a, to refund. Get a refund. We'll see how that goes. And then the funny thing is, we were talking about how, how much we like the apps right before that happened. Yeah, I jinxed it. Ruined it. All right, so do you think the people want to see the other two sandwiches? The Italian? Yeah, since it's taking me forever to finish this one. This is the Italian. Same sandwich, or same chicken, same bun, just with mozzarella cheese. Oh, cheese is sticking. And I don't know if you can see it, but marinara sauce. And I did get us a knife to cut these in half. Would it be weird to carry a cutting board in your truck? Just... <laughs> Probably. Probably. All right, so there it is. You can see chicken, you can see cheese, and you can see mozzarella. I'm sure the people riding by think it's weird. That you grown, ain't finished this damn sandwich that a grown yet? grown woman is uh, sitting here with a Burger King hat on. Yeah, talking to, talking to a camera in the windshield. <laughs> All right, I'll try this. Oh, look, mine's got plastic from the <laughs> knife on it. Mmm. I like this too. And as I've said before, I'm not like a fan of chicken parm. It's just okay. This is nowhere near as good as the Mexican. Mm -mm. I wouldn't order this I again. I wouldn't buy that again. But I like it. My Mexican one is uh, making my nose run. I can't believe you ain't finished it yet. I'm not judging you. It feels a little judgy. Half your jalapeno chips are in your paper. Mm -hmm. This is like my third napkin. <laughs> mm -mm. So, the Mexican one? I wouldn't recommend that one, though. The Mexican one, yes. 10 out of 10 would get it again. Yep. That one I wouldn't ever. Mm. This one? I don't think I like the marinara sauce. I think that's what it is. This one, if someone brought it to me, bought it for me, I'd eat it. <laughs> And I'd be fine eating it. Just don't think I'd get it again. I took one bite and put it down. Yeah, I'll finish her side in a little while. All right, so now the last one is the one they're calling the American. And it's the same chicken sandwich. Same bun and everything. But it has mayonnaise, cheese, and lettuce and tomato. I don't want that tomato. Can I take my tomato off? It would be perfect if this one had bacon. Oh, yeah. Give you a little end. You can take your tomato off. Surprisingly, oh, hold on, didn't cut all the way through. Surprisingly, these are some pretty ripe looking tomatoes. I do not like. You know, a lot of time at fast food. Tomatoes. At fast food places, your tomatoes aren't the freshest. ripest, freshest. All right. So this one's, you know, typical. Big old hunk of lettuce right there. Mm -hmm. Right. The lettuce is really crisp. It's got good flavor. Mm-hmm. But nowhere near the Mexican flavor. I would I would order this one again. Yeah, I would order it again. It's pretty good. But I'm only gonna order one sandwich, so if I have to choose between those two, I'm going with the Mexican. Understandable. And I would get that one without tomato. I would add bacon. I don't need to say that. But I really like the buns. The buns are really fresh. The chicken's good. I like the tomato. On all right. of them. Um, not a fan of the Italian at all. Yeah, it comes in third place. Now, the Italian one and this American. Why is this so messy for me? They're not new. They've been brought back. For the international trio. The Mexican is the only one that's new. And it's worth it. Thumbs up for me. And it is making my nose run, so yeah, that's your other half. And 
Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, the other half of your Italian. Mm -hmm. When my mom says the word Italian, she says Italian. So we tease her. But I know other people that say Italian. Most people are usually from Italy. Really? Yeah. Interesting. I learned a fun fact the other day. Ooh, fun fact. People in Italy, there's not a lot of obesity in Italy like there is in America. And you would think all they eat is pasta and pizza. Why are they not fat? Well, the grains and the wheat that they grow over there they don't allow any uh, synthetic or artificial interference with their crops where, you know, ours are genetically modified and, uh, you know, they're, they're made to grow quicker and bigger, blah, blah, blah. And that's what contributes to obesity, obesity in America. I mean, let's admit it, we eat way too much bread and all that. We did just have three yeah. sandwiches. Yeah, and the grain we are eating has been altered. Basically, they've altered the DNA of our grains so they could grow more, quicker, in more places. And it's basically a law in Italy. You can't do that. So, they can eat all the damn pasta and bread and stuff they want. But I thought the and whole... And it's nowhere near as bad for them as ours is. But I thought the, like, the whole stereotype of Italians was like, you know fat Italian mother in the kitchen cooking. None of them are thin. You mean what you've seen on American TV? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm full, baby. You can have the rest of that one, too. Speaking of Italian, we're watching the new Sylvester Stallone show mm. on Paramount Plus called Tulsa King, and he plays like a mafia gangster. Excellent show if you haven't seen it. It's pretty good excellent show it's funny it's serious it's dramatic love it really good show the content we provide you guys i mean you've gotten a lesson on grains <laughs> and health and health mm -hmm. new tv show to watch perhaps food review food advice we got it all here costumes my beautiful wife wearing a crown <laughs> So, is that a wrap? That's a wrap. Are you going to eat the rest of that? No, I just said I, I left it for you. All I'm right. full. You can go ahead and close this out. I'm going to put that tomato on there. Okay. Please like, subscribe, like. Just hit the like. Look, it, it, like, take your mouse and go, or take your phone and you just hit, you just hit a button. That's it. And it helps us out. So, like, subscribe. We'll see you on the next one. Bye. Bye.